All right, so this could be another live recorded trading session, uh, one in which I'm looking at both the uh, ES futures and the NASDAQ 100 futures. Uh, so um, if you trade the indices, if you trade futures, then welcome to the channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, and looking at the ES first, I'm looking at my 60 range chart and maybe you trade the MES, which is the micro version. But either way, um, what we can see going on, I mean, you can just tell with the ES, we've just been moving to the upside. It's, it's, it doesn't move like the NASDAQ, you know, so the NASDAQ has had lots of swings, pushing up, pushing down. If you look at the ES, what's been going on basically since the beginning of the year, we've been uh, trailing or trending to the upside here. So uh, this is just a pullback right now, as you can see it's doing. Um, this area here was an area of demand right here and it hasn't rejected off of it. So it may push, it could push deeper, but right now you can see the overall direction, making these higher highs and higher lows that we should be only be looking for, uh, moves or plays to the upside. So I'm not saying the market can't reject in this area where it's at, but it did, uh, push up here, pull back pretty deep on a deep retracement just to uh, break more structure to the upside. Same thing here, and now it's pulling back. We have a demand zone resting right here. This is a tested or area of demand that I like to talk about in many videos. Um, when it comes to trades or setups that I look for, I like to take high probability setups. So where there's a gap back at the, in this case here, a demand zone, and uh, there's not, but that doesn't mean the market can't reject this area. You know, it could retest this area. Because if you see this this bearish candle here that pulled back right here before the market broke higher and broke structure here at uh, 51.24, that bullish candle as it broke it, okay, the next candle right here came back the wick up it filled any gap back to the demand zone. But again, that still does not mean that the market can't reject this area. So we, we will mark it. It's low probability, but you know, the market could reject this area. So what I like to do now is just move down to my lower time frame to see if the market will reject this area. Um, again, let me do this. All right. So this is the zone right here. Um, I'm going to move down to my, I'm going to move up, move back up to my higher time frame. And what could happen is the market could reject this. If we're moving down to our lower time frame and see confirmation or means of rejection and possibly could come back up and test, um, right here at 33, 34 area. So let me go back to my lower time frame right now. And as we can see, let's see, the market's really not doing much. But um, what I, I like to see when it comes to confirmation and rejection, I, I want to see whether the market's going to break above in this case here, meaning that it's going to take out a, a level or area structure, create a demand zone, and then look for a pullback for, you know, say a creation or a uh, demand zone. So, you know, like this right here. So let's say the market um, breaks higher. It takes out this area here all right and then it kind of pulls back and then we get a break where there's a demand zone created okay so we get a break of a level of breaking structure pulls back all right and then it breaks breaks higher breaking structure and then we get a demand zone that's created on the 12 range so then on my lower time frame then i look for a pullback to the, the demand zone that's created on the 12 range to go long so it just gives me it's like getting double uh confirmation or double means of 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 uh, rejection in a sense you know we get the pullback to the higher time from a higher um, base chart zone of demand and then we're looking for that demand set up on the lower time frame but nothing really taking place here on the on the nasdaq i'm mean, excuse me the nas the es so i'm going to move over to the uh the nasdaq now just to take a look at the market um and what we can see is just looking at the higher base chart we can see where the market here is you know bearish to the downside i mean we've been kind of like moving up pushing lower, you know, so bullish trend, bearish, bull, back to bullish. Now we're back to bearish to the downside, all right? And this all took place um, into yesterday's trading session as the market started pushing lower, making these lower lows and lower highs. So right now I would just be looking for opportunities to do what, uh, to go short um, and looking into to the overnight session, we've been doing the same thing. We've been just trailing to the downside. And yesterday, which was the fourth, I mean, you can see we had some choppy price action activity, but you know, if you really follow it with your eyes, you can see that the market was just was trying to push lower by making these lower lows and lower highs, even though it was kind of ranging and moving sideways in a sense, you know, it, it just dropped into the overnight session and just kept pushing lower. So this right here would be an area of supply resting at um, 18,000 
103 and a half. There was a small area supply that was resting back up. Well, it was, this is a tested area, so it's low probability. You can see the market rejected right here, right around 55, 56, 57 area and came back to the low. But, you know, it's going to get a major high volume area that it's going to have to push through. But there's also, you know, you have this area of support sitting out here. So um, the market may have a tough time pushing through that. But if it does break lower, I mean, um, it may possibly want to come down here and test uh, this area of support down here as well. If it breaks lower at 18,000 because the market likes to move uh, to round and half numbers, you know, in a sense. But you just got to pay close attention right now. Like I said, there's a major area of support sitting right here, which the market could reject off of. You can see this high volume area right here, a lot of volume right there. So um, it's, you know, there's a lot of stacked against the market right now of trying to push lower, but that doesn't mean that it can't. So the market pushed to this, this high volume area and tested this area of um, demand resting right here. It did reject it, but we got resistance resting right above. It goes back up to resistance. You were already bearish to the downside. Now it's still breaking lower. So um, opportunities and looking for trades to me would be just, you know, looking for uh, short entries because of the structure of the market is to the downside uh, versus to the upside right now. So um, this could be an area of this was this right here is an area of supply for sure right here. This is an area of supply that's forming now. But be careful because. Let's just see what takes place here. And we can see the market is trying to break below this area right here from 20 from the 29th of February. So um hasn't broken through it yet. If it does, it's going to come probably come down here and test down here probably close to around 17,009 um 15 area with its high volume areas. So let's see what takes place here. I mean, we're bearish to the downside. You can see it. We're just making lower lows, breaking structure lower. But and it's pulling. It's it's moved deep into this zone here. So it's probably going to more likely break through it. All right. So let's see what unfolds here. Okay. Um. We get a pullback. Let's see. Um. Waiting to see what it's going to do here. And I may go short. Okay, I'm going short a little bit early. Come on. No, I don't do that. Going short just a little bit early. And we're going to aim for lower areas, to be honest with you, here. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'm aiming for lower areas down here around 920. It could pull back some. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a first, my one contract here at 50, around about 51. Okay. I believe. You know what? I might just hold this thing through. I might just take both of them out. Um. Okay. Let me see. Did it come down there? 51. Yeah, I'm gonna take out a 50. Ah, dag it. Did it come down there? Not yet. 51.75 is where I'm gonna take it out at. It's pulling back on me now. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, come on. Push lower. Ah, it came down to 52. Look at this. Um, yeah, 51, 51.75 is what I wanted to take out at. Um, I'm gonna hold it. I was up like 18 points and then it came back. It's pulling back. It may want to test higher, slightly higher areas. I really don't want to put my stop back any more than where it's already at. So I'm going to take out here, right here at the lows right here. But I think that's it's going to try to push on down here and test this high volume area right here and fill in the rest of these gaps. But I'm going to, I'm going to hold tight here and see what it does. 
So I'm already locked in. I was aiming for higher profits down lower, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take out right here with this low is at right around here at 52. Uh, I think it's going to test that imbalance resting right there around 51. So come on. Don't push higher, push lower. Push lower. This is my first trade of today. Look at it. Come on. I got to be mindful of what's going on in the higher time frame as well. It broke through this area here. All right, so maybe we'll get the feel now, hopefully. It's coming back down here and testing the lows. Come on, baby. Push lower. Ah, oh, look at that. One tick away. Got feel. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so that was a solid, solid trade there. Um, going short. Saw the, mar the Marcus Bears were breaking structure below or lower. And then it broke below this area right here. And then you have nothing but clearance in a sense right here to where it could um, continue pushing down, which we're probably going to do. But it's going to have its pullbacks, you know, before it starts uh, pushing lower. But, uh, you know, there's, there's imbalances resting here, imbalance here. There's actually an imbalance resting down here below here at this high volume area. So this this is the 29th, February 29th trading uh, session. So the market's trying to go down and fill those areas now. It's in a low volume area too as well. Remember when I talked about market pull, pushing through a high volume area, moving through a low volume area, want to come down and test a high volume area? Well, that's what it looks like it's trying to do. Um, but I'm not saying that the market can't bounce and, and shift and it's going to do what it wants to do. But we're trading based on... First of all, structure, price action, and what's going, what, what, what we see, you know, what to our eyes, with our eyes, uh, um, following the, the, the flow of the, or the direction of the market as it's pushing through areas. So it came down here, it tested this area, uh, there was demand resting right there, but because we're moving lower, I'm still looking for short opportunities. And then it pulled back, broke lower, all right, and then it tested this area, you know, this, Still area of support sitting over here. Once you test it, bounce, pull back. And at that point, because we broke through this area right here, I'm interested in looking for short positions. And look what we're doing. We're still pushing lower. Still pushing lower. Again, I think we're going to come down here and test this 915 and a half area, but we'll see. Um, so we're still breaking structure lower, as you can see right here. So if you got in maybe um, on a pullback, when it pulled back here at around 1030, look and then look for rejection off the lower time frame so where are we at 10 30 around this area so uh pull us back around this area right here then what i would have done was wait for the market because it started pushing higher right here all right and then i would have waited for a break lower a pullback and then waited for um what am i trying to say here a break and close of a candle right here at 59 and a half and you would have been good to go go short okay if you weren't able to catch that trade that I took, um, you know, after the market broke this area and basically pulled back. So, you know, that was a good opportunity to take a trade to go short, to be honest with you. So that's why I took that short. But still, it could pull back where we at now. It still has some some ways to go a little bit, I believe. So right here, it pulls back to this area here. Around, there's a area, a supply right here at 1052. Okay. And what it's doing now, you know, there could be opportunity to go. Okay, just pull back up here. This is a supply area right here. All right. And um, look, the market is breaking lower. So I'm going to enter going short. And I'm going to aim for this area down here at uh, 16 and a half. Okay. So that's going to be my next target or my next area is 16 and a half down here. Well, try to at least. I'm going to take, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, ah, there we go. We already got feel. There we go. See? So I stop resting right here. Okay. Look at it. It's coming back against me now. So I don't want to play it. I don't want to give it the market. Yeah, it's probably going to come back. It can test this area right here. So, okay. So it stopped me out. All right. So that's fine. Um, But I know what it's trying to do. It's trying to aim to possibly go lower. I believe it's still got some room to push lower and come down here and test this, this, area here at 16 but it's going to come back up here first you see it's going to test this area here at 52 before it's going to want to continue pushing lower so let's see what happens so we, we tap into that higher time frame zone now right here and i think we're still going to push a little lower here 
Okay, all right, so pull back. All right, I'm going short. Okay, my aim is going to be for down here, around here, around 17 and a half. So got in just a little too early. It's come back. This is the area right here. Uh, if you got in at the rejection, then you are good to go. The market's probably going to come down here and at least test that right here at seven. Here we go, 32 and a half. <laughs> where, I had this, where I was just marking it at right here. It's going to come down here. Um, and it can break lower and then pull back. So I could, there we go. See, all right, now it's running lower. All right, so let me lock in and I'm going to come on, baby. I know it can pull back. It could test any of these areas up here before it starts to push lower. So it may be smart for me to go ahead and try to take a uh, look at it to take profit. Okay, come on. You may want to test this area right here. So I have about a seven point stop right there. I should have took out right here when it came down here and tested this imbalance rest right here, but it's okay. I'm going to try to hold this through. It breaks below, then I'll move my stop lower to lock in profit. Come on. I want to see it break below this low here at uh, 928. Okay. All right. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and just take out right here. Don't do that. It's probably, it may want to test this area right here. Okay. Or possibly 37 and a half. This is the, this is where it gets tough at like having to make, you know, decisions. I'm at 10 points already. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get out here when it gets down to like 12. I'm going to go ahead and close right here. All right. So, but keep your eye on focusing on this area down here around 17 and a half, I mean, excuse me, 16, because I believe that's where it's targeting, to be honest with you. It's just, you know, it, it's, we're getting these pullbacks here on the, um, you know, on the lower time frame. But again, this was a, a supply zone resting right here. The structure's to the downside. We have a supply zone here. So when it pulls back to supply, we're just looking at our lower time frame. Uh, it tested supply. I'm looking for a break, you know, broke this area structure right here. And then looking for a, uh, excuse me, a supply zone on the lower time frame. The supply zone was going to be, and this was this area right here. Okay. Right here. I got in right around this area here a little early before it tapped into it, but it got there. It rejected it, breaking the close, go short. You can aim back down here to the lows if you, you know, and if you're able to hold it, you can hold it, you know, possibly aiming for that, that uh, 15 or 16 area below, but be careful because it is going to test the lows and may reject this area. Um, pull back and then it may break lower before you know in, in its decision to what it what it's trying to do ultimately and i really think it's trying to come down here and test lower areas here down here with this high volume note is at right here okay we're resting right around to fill the gap in from the 29th back down here to around 14 maybe 15 16 area so somewhere in that area is, is probably going to want to uh, target but you know the market can do what it wants to do but it's in this low volume area it broke through this high volume area Moving through this low volume area, and it's probably going to, like I said, come down here and test down here. So let's see. Uh, strong pullback here. Strong pullback. So be careful here. Um, I got out right here, the low. Um, and, I, you know, it can come back into the lows and it can bounce. But let's see how it plays out. And as we can see, it, you know, it eventually it pulled back together. Like I said, um, it was aiming for this area down here, right here. You see that? Right there at 14, 15, 16 area, right there at high volume areas. And look what it did. It rejected it and, and pulled away from it. Now we're back in this low volume area. But there were areas of imbalances resting below. After the market broke through this area of, of structure right here, uh, this swing right here, took out that low there, it was aiming to fill in these areas of imbalances resting below. And it went all the way down there. It's just a matter of trying to hold it um, and, you know, versus that's where the psychological piece comes in to where you have to make smart decisions about, you know, should I hold it? Should I take profit? You know, because the market can retrace back pretty deep to fool you out or fake you out. So sometimes it's best to take your profits. And if we look back at the lower time frame, uh, lower time frame chart here, we can see um, we're pulled back here all the way back up to like 50. Okay. Rejected that area, broke this area structure right here to the downside, came down to 19, pulled back again. What was it doing? It was just pulling back to areas of, you know, supply off of the, uh, the lower time frame, And then it went on down there and tested that area. So you just had to have kind of, you know, held it through as it was chopping, making, you know, lows, lower highs. Then it made a lower low, 
once it did that, you should know that it were, where it was going. But still, it's, 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 it can pull back pretty significantly. So let's see here. When it pulled back up here to 49 or 50 area on the higher time frame. Um, let's see. What time was that? Make sure. All right. Around 1040. So blow this up a little bit. Um, which was right here. Pull back up to that 50 area. Okay. So what was it doing there? Yeah. I mean, it was testing this area here. You know. Um, this area right here, the swing that it just came off of pulls back and then it breaks lower. So the way to trade that would have been, um, pulls back and you can look for some area supply on the lower time frame, like right here, right around 45 and a quarter, get the break in the, in the close. Uh, but be careful because you have, um, you have support resting right below and that's what it tapped into before it pulled back and then broke lower here. So. And then it pulls back again here. You could wait. Supply right here, lower time frame. Break and close of the candle. Look for confirmation to go short. You can aim for the low down here. But you just got to be careful. I mean, because, you know, and looking at what it's really trying to aim to do, go down and test that area I talked about. Um, but you just have to know where to get in uh, in reference to the higher time frame and lower time frame. Okay. So this whole time, as it was moving lower, it was breaking structure, pull back, break structure, supply here, broke structure, supply here, broke structure. Yeah, this is a small area of supply resting right here. You could wait right here around 10, 44, 5, whatever. It pulls back to that 50 area. You can move down to your lower time frame, look for rejection to get into trade to go short, and then aim for that lower area like I talked about. So now what it's doing is moving sideways at this high volume area. So be careful. But I'm going to wrap it up because I'm done for today. Um, you know, for me right now, looking for opportunities is short all the way, okay? Unless we start taking out some major areas, some, you know, some decent areas of structure above, okay, where I see there's a trend starting to form, not trend, a reversal starting to form uh, in the market back to the upside here. Can it break? Can it, can it basically... You know, shift back and come all the way back up to this high volume area. Of course it can, but we're looking for maybe a reversal to happen for it to do so. And then if it does, then, you know, we can start trading accordingly, going back long. But I'm done for today. Appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. I post my trades, those uh, few that I took over on the Discord community. So if you're not a Discord member and you want to join, please take the time to find the link down in the description portion of the video below. Click on the link. The Discord link is free to join. Come over and join us. Um, but yeah, outside of that, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I just want to kind of do this like a live recording, live recording trading session. I do these from time to time uh, in discussion of the market, what I'm seeing, what I'm noticing, what the direction is, you know, what type of trades I'm looking to in, uh, interest in, in taking, tra taking in, excuse me, guys, and uh, show you a couple of trades that I did take. And these same trades are posted over on the Discord community. So appreciate you tuning in. Outside of that, if you are not a current subscriber, Please take the time to join. I mean, the information that is is uh, free here. You know, I give away lots of valuable content. Unless you want to join and be an elite member, and that's just you supporting me as a content creator. There's a link right below in the description portion of the video, right below the Discord link that says "Become an Elite Member." What you receive that's through YouTube. It is a tier based program to where um, supporters or subscribers can support their favorite uh, content creators. And you know, I give a lot of information. 90% of it are way over on the free side or the public side of the channel. But, you know, I, I created a tier based uh, program, which is it's, all it is is $6.99 a month. But what it is, is that you support me as a content creator and I'm giving back additional information, you know, in the sense you're receiving or giving you something back in, in, in return, meaning the perks and rewards for supporting me as a content creator, you know, uh, and that's what that's why YouTube created those those tiers um, and allow subscribers to support again their favorite uh, content creator so you get the trade breakdowns which are uh, breakdowns of trades where i go into detail surrounding setups okay as if you were sitting next to me and i was talking to you whether it's virtually or sitting right next to me i go into detail about from my mindset what i was thinking about uh leading up to a trade um discussing the zones why i took the trade so you get the breakdowns there and they have helped uh, lots of traders on this platform or this channel here uh, tremendously, especially over in the Discord. We have people who are successful now and profitable based on understanding and, and seeing the way that I actually trade. And whether they mirror it to the T or they kind of twist it themselves and added their own little ingredient to it. You know, I always talk about whatever works for you, stick with it. OK, whether it's you pick up and learn something from someone else or you just choose to kind of develop your own strategy whatever works you're consistent with it stick with it but again if you're interested in becoming an elite member all you have to do is click on the link down in the description uh, below 
or you can click on the join button and you'll see two tiers pop up just make sure you choose the one that says elite channel supporter if you're interested because people always ask me how can they become an elite member to gain access to the trade breakdowns and the video playlist of videos that i um create it but outside of that i appreciate everyone tuning in if you're not a sub like i said please take the time to go ahead and sub make sure to turn on all your post notifications so you never miss one of the uploads and last but not least please drop a like on the video i'll catch you in the next video take care